Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyRadomation.com and welcome to another section of our Continuous Integration, Development and Delivery with Azure DevOps course. And in this section, we are going to be talking about Azure Pipelines, Release Pipeline concept. So in our last section, we saw the different way of working with Azure Pipelines for the build pipelines. And we never talked about the release pipeline because again, it's yet another bigger concept as much like the build pipeline. So in Azure DevOps system, the release pipelines primarily consist of two main things. One is the release definitions and the next one is the deployment groups and release agents. So the release definition is pretty much like how we did the definition for the build, but just that this time it is going to be a little different compared to the build definition itself. And you can see that we already talked about the agents, which is nothing but the build agent in our previous video. We created a agent pool, we deployed an agent and we use that agent to run the build in our local machine. And here there is exactly the same concept, but just that this time we're going to have something like a deployment groups and release agent. So the deployment group is a separate concept. We'll be talking about that a lot in our upcoming videos. But just for now, you can assume that the deployment group is a logical set of unit, which is going to consist of different agents together which are sitting in different ecosystems. It can be within your local machine, it can be in a hosted Azure agent, or it can be an agent which is running in a different operating system or something like that. And you can group them together. You can even share that particular group and then you can access that and things of that nature. And again, for any given CI CD system in Azure DevOps service, you need to have two agent. One is the build agent and the next one is the release agent. We already talked about the build agent and this is the release agent that we'll be talking about in this particular section. Well, while creating the new release pipeline, you can see that the UI is going to look something like this. As you can see, it is a little bit different compared to the build pipeline, but just that here we have a concept of what is called as artifacts and then stages. And as you can see, the artifacts are going to be the deployable unit of code that is generated from the build. So basically you can see there is an interconnectivity happening between your build pipeline with the release pipeline. So the artifacts can either come from your build, from your own Azure DevOps service, or sometimes the build system can be a different system altogether. You may not be using the build system of Microsoft Azure DevOps service. Some people prefer to have the third party integration, something like Team City, Jenkins or something like that. So you can take the artifacts from there and you can connect that artifact in this particular pipeline and then you can do a release of your code in different stages followed by that. So you can see that the Microsoft Azure DevOps service is so much flexible that it is not tightly integrated to its own tool. Rather, they have a lot of APIs opened up for many different third party services to work with the Azure DevOps service. So this is the new release pipeline page guys. This is how it's going to look like. And then in order to create a release definition, we are going to create a release definition in this particular section, something like this. As you can see, it's going to have an artifact of drop, uh, which is nothing but the build that we made in our previous video, the drop folder. And that's exactly what this drop means. And then we're going to have the stages. So within this stage, I have two stage basically. The one stage is the deploy app, which is going to be deploying the application within our own local internet information server. So I'll be deploying that. And then I'm going to be running the test against the application, which is deployed in my local machine. So we have not seen our application being deployed into our internet information server ever and we have not even seen how the application actually looks like we are going to be doing in this particular section for that. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that I'm going to jump to my Microsoft Edge Chrome browser.